The usual thinking going into a US election is some nervousness towards healthcare. I'm feeling uh, more positive. Firstly, from the starting point, healthcare is very out of favor and attractively valued and sentiment is negative. So big contrarian signal. Uh, the, the reason to be more cautious is if you see risk of an extreme election result, which is more biased towards in the US, probably the Democrats, uh, where you would likely see a push for further or more government involvement in the delivery of healthcare. So investors get nerves, as I say, when that is uh, potentially the case. We have had just we we have had major legislation put in um, for healthcare last year through the Inflation Reduction Act. So that's something bit worth bearing in mind. Normally, when you get major legislation go in, you don't tend to see anything new for several years. We also feel there's going to be because of that in part, there's going to be much more focus on other areas with this election. And then what's critical ultimately is how Congress looks versus who is president. And if you look at the kind of seats up for grabs uh, currently, it doesn't look like there's a scenario where we should see an extreme result. So bringing that all together over the next 12 months, I'm very constructive on healthcare, despite, you know, over history, people having, you know, people, there's evidence that people get nervous about the US, the US election in relation to healthcare. I'm very constructive.